Hey guys, Tommy Bryson here, and as you guys know, I'm actually a part of the entire FIRE movement, but today, I'm gonna tell you everything wrong with the FIRE movement. And by the way guys, this right here are one of my favorite candles ever, and if you wanna buy what I buy, well, here it is right here. I don't have a link, because I'm not sponsored, but I just like this candle, and that's why I'm recommending it. I don't know why I brought this up, but this FIRE, I'm talking about the FIRE movement today, so I, I think it's kinda like related. But overall guys, in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything wrong with the fire movement, okay? And you know, I stole this video because basically I was online and I was reading everything about fire movement because I like reading stuff, right? And this guy basically said, for example, hey, here's an article. Why I think the fire movement is actually stupid. And then I clicked on it. And then I clicked on another article and another one and another one and another one. And you know, once they're clicking around, everything you get recommended is all about that same topic. And before you knew it, I read between five to 10 articles saying, hey, here's why the fire movement is stupid and here's why you actually don't wanna do whatsoever. So that's why today in this video, I'm going to address it. I'm gonna talk about basically, is the fire movement actually good? Is it actually bad? Or do you need to go ahead and just turn the candle off and not play with fire anymore because you might actually get burned. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. By the way, there's so much smoke in my room. This was a terrible idea. But by the way, guys, if you guys are new here, I post videos every single day. So you should also subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified and also destroy the like button. Now, the first article I read, and I'll show you guys right now, the first article I read had this headline right here. Why I think the fire movement is so stupid. And then this is <laughs> and then the disclaimer says, for example, just because I think the fire movement is stupid does not mean I think you're actually stupid. And then I read this whole article, right? And it basically goes around five main points. And the first point is basically you live in the future dreams at the expense of your life today. And he says, for example, hey Tommy, you know, in reality, the fire movement is all about, hey, you suffer today for like seven to 10 to 15 years, while in reality, us humans only have around 30,000 years left in this world. So why spend it doing that? Why not just go out there and enjoy life? Why not stop restricting yourself? And then I said, for example, well, that is true. I understand that. But in reality, we spend more than one third of our life just working. Another third basically just sleeping, right? So if we can kind of sacrifice seven years, right? Just to basically be able to retire early and do what we actually want to do, it makes a lot of sense, okay? So the idea is that it's not basically, hey, I'm gonna sacrifice everything today. It's kind of like Muhammad Ali, one of my favorite boxers. Well, you work very hard, right? You work very, very hard. So you can go out there and become the champion, right? And that's what it's all about. Although Muhammad Ali did have a lot of things going on wrong with him, but that's not the point here. You get the point, right? The point is you work hard today and tomorrow you get to enjoy the fruits of your labor. That's the whole concept here. The second point I read is basically, well, Tommy, all right, so you got that first one. But the second thing is basically, it's a bad trade-off from a financial standpoint because basically, if you wanna follow the FIRE movement, you're going to live on 4% of your income. So in this case, whatever your income is today, you have to multiply it by 25, and that's the size of your portfolio, right? So if you wanna live on 20K, you need 500K. If you wanna live on 50K, you need 1.2 million. If you wanna live on 80K, you need around $2 million. So in reality, it's kinda of like, hey, yeah, I can live on this, but then I can never go out there and enjoy the good things in life, okay? I can never buy a BMW. I can never just go out and eat and do whatever I want and go traveling. And in reality, whenever I hear those words, kinda of like, hey, that's what the media tells you, right? Like, hey, to be happy, you need to drive this BMW. To be happy, you need to drive this Lamborghini, right? But in the end, if you're going to have $50,000 extra, the point of the fire movement is not to basically say, hey, you have 50K extra every single year, stop working, don't do anything. The answer is no, no, no. You have that extra money. Now, if you want to, you can be more selective about the work you actually take, enjoy it. If you wanna buy a BMW, go ahead and buy it, just pay cash for it. Just don't go out there and get into crazy debt. You wanna travel, go ahead and travel. Just make sure it's within your budget. That is all that the fire movement actually is. And by the way, because you are the one deciding your budget, you get to put in exactly what you actually care about. For example, my budget is basically, hey, if I wanna buy Tesla in the future, I wanna make sure that's in my budget. If I wanna travel for two months out of the year, I wanna make sure that's in my budget. So whatever your budget is, you get to go out there and decide it. In reality, having fire 
frees you it doesn't really limit you okay that's the core idea and now the third point of this article is basically when you follow the fire movement it puts way too much emphasis on money okay it puts money first beyond everything and in reality life is not about money it's about learning doing new things being creative her relationships going out there to the ocean loving laughing all this stuff the reality you can actually do without money. So even if you are actually having a budget, you can still go out there, laugh, love, go on dates that are inexpensive, do all these things that don't really have you go out there and spend all your money. And by the way, I love when people say basically, hey, life is not about money, then why do you work, right? Because you know, money is very, very important and we can all agree on that, right? And say for example, if you're going to be on this earth, right, for like around 20,000 years, well, 20,000, not years, 20,000 days. By the way, here's how I got the math, okay? The average person lives until they're 75. Very morbid, I know, but they start working like around age 18, right? So you're only around for like 57 years actually working. That's when you actually start working. Now, let's say you actually get to work for one third of your life. So only times 0.3. That's around 17 years of your life that you actually spend working. How many days is that? Well, that's around times 365. That's around 6,241 days that you actually spend working every single day, right? That's the cool thing. And if you spend all this time working, what if you only spent, instead of this, maybe 10 years, right? If it was only 10 years or maybe like seven years, right? Only seven years times 365, that means you get to only work for this much and get to enjoy the rest of your life doing all those things that also make you happy. But even while you're doing fire, I still go on dates. I still laugh. I still do things I enjoy doing. I still travel. I still do all these things, but I'm more conscious about it and how I actually spend my money. I think people think about like fire, like limiting. In reality, it frees you to kind of do what you want to do, when you want to do it, when you can actually do it. You don't want to say, hey, I'm going to buy this, I'm going to go out, go to this party, buy this BMW, buy these things, but then in reality, you can't afford it, and now you're suffering, and that's not what you want, right? And the fourth point of this entire article is basically, hey, being in fire is kind of like a cult, right? The, you have leaders, you have followers, you have all these people that are at the top, but then in reality, if you're not doing what they say, they kind of make fun of you. And in reality, I kind of agree, right? It's, it's not really like a cult, but like a movement. I don't think about a cult, but the overall idea is that, yeah, some people will make fun of you and that's just them and how they are. But some people will actually support you and say, for example, hey, if you're trying to get to a goal, it's kind of like having an accountability partner, right? For example, I try to go to the gym five times a week and I have a group of friends that help me track my performance, right? So basically, if I don't go one day, tell me, hey, Tommy, what's going on? You should be going. You're slacking. So that's what it is. Kind of like a feedback loop of friends telling you, hey, you have to do this and you got to do it now. Okay. So when it comes to fire and it being a cult, I don't think so. It's more like people trying to help you get your goal and calling you out whenever you're not actually doing what you're supposed to do to get to where you said you actually wanted to go. And the last thing I read in this article was basically, well, it's not made for today's world. And the concept is basically that, well, fire is cool, but today we actually have a lot of jobs that we actually enjoy having, and we can actually be happy living like a nine to five job. So, and the economy is also growing. But when you think about it, guys, okay, the pandemic happened. So if you were already financially free, you wouldn't have to worry about the whole pandemic. And the concept is that, hey, but if you have that much money and the market crashes, well, because you're following the 4% rule, it doesn't matter. You'll still have enough money going forward no matter what. And again, just because you're financially free and independent, it doesn't mean you stop working. It means, for example, if you want to be more selective with your work, you go out there and you pick the jobs you actually enjoy having. So overall, this article was kind of like someone that misunderstood the entire idea of what fire actually is. And by the way, my outlook is this, okay? When I do achieve fire in a sense, right? I'm financially free. I'm not going to stop working. I'm not going to stop investing. It's kind of like, for example, me saying, hey, I know everything is going to be okay because basically I have security here, but now I can go ahead and do more and more and more of the things I actually enjoy. So overall, all the things wrong with fire, in reality, in my opinion, are just kind of like a misunderstanding. But guys, comment down below and let me know what do you think? And do you think that basically 
having to basically work a little hard for like seven years is like not worth it. And instead of actually having to work, for example, 45 years straight, going to a nine to five job. And by the way, nine to five jobs are not secure. At any moment, you might lose a job. You might get fired, something might happen, might become obsolete. So in reality, having financial freedom is very, very important. And by the way, it says FIRE, right? So it's F-I first, right? Financial freedom first. And then is retire early if you actually want to. That's the point of how the FIRE movement actually work. And, you know, I thought I was going to say, hey, I don't like the FIRE anymore. I'm done with it. But in reality, I'm going to put it back on, you know, because I'm still a part of the entire FIRE movement. I think this entire deal with candles is a terrible idea. But, yeah, you guys get the point. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, like this video if you liked it. On top of that, also, subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified. And before I go, if you want to text me or talk to me, search my Patreon link down below or send me a DM on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And if you want to see exactly how I invest and in what I invest, here's a video right here. And click my face now. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.